Unlocking the meaning of Shin Up, a guide to English phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning channel. Today, we have a really interesting phrase to delve into. Shin Up. This might sound a bit quirky at first, but by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your daily conversations. So, let's get started and shin up our understanding of English idioms. The phrase, shin up, is a bit of an old-fashioned term, and it primarily means to climb up something by using your hands and shins. Imagine you have a tree or a pole in front of you. To shin up means to grasp the tree or pole with your hands while using the fronts of your legs, your shins, to push yourself upwards. It's a physical activity and requires strength in your arms and legs. Now, you might be wondering, why do we need to know a term that's so specific and seemingly outdated? Well, languages are living entities. They evolve, but they also preserve history. Understanding phrases like, shin up, helps us connect with older literature and expressions, and it enriches our language repertoire. Now that we know what shin up means, let's look at how we can use it in a sentence. 1. The cat was stuck in the tree, but thankfully, the little boy managed to shin up and rescue it. 2. During the obstacle course, the participants had to shin up a rope to reach the next challenge. As you can see from these examples, shin up is used to describe the action of climbing using both hands and shins. While shin up is not as commonly used today as it might have been in the past, it's still a great phrase to know. It adds variety to your language use and can make your speech or writing more colorful and engaging. However, it's important to note that in modern, casual conversation, people might simply say, climb up, instead. And that's a wrap on, shin up. We hope this video has helped clear up the meaning of this interesting phrase and given you a new tool in your English language toolkit. Remember, learning a language is all about discovery. And today, you've discovered a little bit more about the rich tapestry of English expressions. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for more fun and educational content. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.